wrap things up, I'd just like to briefly go over a few little things that people are still mentioning out there that really make no sense. Um, people are mentioning Parkinson's disease and saying raw cacao isn't good for that, yet there are factors in raw cacao that do benefit this, and from what I've seen, there, there's nothing that's in cacao that's bad for Parkinson's disease. It actually has neurotransmitters that are very beneficial for this disease. It has amino acids that are be beneficial for this disease. Another thing they're saying is people who eat cacao will get angry easily. And I don't think of myself as an angry person in the slightest. I'm very passionate. And if you might be judging me and thinking that I'm an angry person by my countenance on this video, I would ask that you reconsider that judgment because um, I'm just being passionate about dissuading some of these falsities that I see prevalent on the web about this amazing food that people are wrongfully and confusingly uh, making negative claims about. So if you find you're getting angry from consuming cacao, um, I would also look at whether you get that same reaction from any food that's a little bit high in fat. Because if the liver is having problems digesting the fat, uh, yes, it can become irritated. And, but that's a problem with fat, not cacao. So saying cacao is bad just because you're getting angry is, doesn't make any sense and you need to get that straight. I personally have never found myself become angry with after consuming cacao. I find it actually relaxes me. I find it makes me very pleasant. And I get along with people quite easily when I'm consuming it. And that doesn't mean I can't be get along with people without it. I can choose not to consume it and be just as fine. It, uh, I'm in control of myself that way. I don't let a food throw me off balance in that way. Finally, some of the things I'd like to say about uh, what's perhaps at the very core foundation of this hatred that some people have for cacao, or what they're calling by a different name that's actually slightly insulting to the food itself. Uh, we need to have some respect for uh, food in general. Um, giving it nicknames that are comparing it to a drug or other harmful substance is pretty disrespectful to both the food and the people consuming it. At the core essence of these people's uh, mindsets, it's pretty obvious that there seems to be a fear in these people of truly letting go a little bit and living life and being uh, sexy and being uh, exuberant and beautiful and glowing and generally having this countenance of uh, vibrancy. Now, definitely in the raw food community, pretty much everyone consuming raw foods is pretty vibrant, but cacao does happen to have these shen building qualities, which shen is that quality that is radiance, uh, spiritual exaltedness, and it is the crowning essence of what we build our entire foundation to bring forth. So a food such as cacao that has its most concentrated properties in building and revealing these Shen qualities in ourselves, it makes perfect sense to me that if someone is afraid of this food, they're not quite opening up to the full potential that their being in this ultimate state of reality can bring forth and manifest in the world. Check my article out in the top right hand info box if you want more information on all the benefits that raw cacao has as a food in general as well as uh, benefits over the processed chocolate. So I would hope that in the future if anyone decides to partake of this beautiful, radiant, electromagnetically powerful food that you do so with respect to where your body's at that you consume factors with this food, this sacred being, and you combine it in a way that you're building this foundation so that the qualities that it brings to your being are supported and don't cause you to go off balance from not being able to handle this extremely high charge that it brings. So enjoy yourself, enjoy your food, and enjoy the feelings and other factors that these foods bring into your being. I hope that you as the individual have enough self-respect and uh, authority over yourself that you can take advice from people 
portraying this food as harmful, that you can ask them for the evidence to support this. And I personally am not going to succumb to any vilification of this food of the gods until there is actually some proof brought to the table, specifically on raw cacao. The studies need to be done, and until they're done, the amount of evidence, both in terms of research and analytical reports and experiences, on the majority show that this is a very beneficial food to consume.